Sam Dastyera's position as a Labour senator is untenable after leaked audio suggested he defended China's controversial South China Sea policy in defiance of the Alp stance, Foreign Minister Julie Bishop says. The Chinese integrity of its borders is a matter for China, Senator Dastyera said in the audio from a press conference with Chinese reporters in June 2016 and published in various media outlets on Wednesday. Senator Dastyeri had previously said he had only incorrectly mumbled an answer to a question he should not have taken. Chris Woolman, explosive new audio heaps pressure on Sam Dastyeri over links to China. Ms Bishop called for Senator Dastyeri's scalp saying the release of this audio tape is further evidence that his position as a parliamentarian is untenable. It is time for his lies and his cover-ups to stop, she told reporters in Canberra on Wednesday. Senator Dastyeri must reconsider his position as a senator. Defence Minister Marais Payne joined Ms Bishop in condemning the senator, saying his recklessness shows Labor can't be trusted on defence and national security. It is clear that Labor cannot be trusted and that they will say anything to Australian media while telling a vastly different story to foreign audiences, she said in a statement. This is a test of Bill Shorten's authority. Pressure is mounting on opposition leader Mr Shorten to remove Senator Dastyeri from Labor's front back, again. He is a serial offender when it comes to placing himself evidently under the influence of the Chinese government, Attorney General George Brandis told ABC Television's Late Line program. After a brief spell in the doghouse last year, Senator Dastyeri became Deputy Opposition Whip in the Upper House in February. Labor frontbencher Mark Dreyfus said the senator must be given the opportunity to explain himself. I am not going to hang, draw and quarter someone on air. Without hearing what Senator Dastyeri might have to say, he told ABC Radio. The audio comes after the New South Wales Labor power broker was reported to have warned Chinese Communist Party-linked political donor Huang Xiaogmo his phone was likely being bugged by intelligence agencies during a meeting in Sydney in October 2016. The reported exchange took place just weeks after Senator Dastyeri resigned from the frock back over his earlier dealings with Mr Huang. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said Senator Dastyeri was not on Australia's side a claim he rejects. I expect Turnbull and the Liberals to smear me, but for he and his colleagues to suggest that I am not a true or loyal Australian is incredibly hurtful, and hurtful to all overseas-born Australians, Senator Dastyeri told AAP. Mr Shorten said on Wednesday the Senator had told him he did not pass on any classified information because he had no access to such information. Mr Shorten observed to Senator Dastyeri it was not the first time his judgment had been called into question. But I certainly expect it to be the last. The coalition government will introduce to Parliament within the next fortnight new laws dealing with foreign donations to political parties and candidates. Copyright AAP 2017